As the Toronto Maple Leafs work to rebuild their NHL roster, OHL skaters like Mitch Marner and Travis Dermott are among the organization's brightest prospects. There's Brocko, he's got Masker and Brocko goes to the net, SCORES! But unlike those Leaf draft picks from the GTA, Kitchener Rangers forward Jeremy Brocko, a native of Long Island, New York, did not grow up cheering for the blue and white. Uh, well, we had Islander season tickets uh, growing up, but um, you know we'd always go to the games and you know we'd cheer for the Islanders, you know, and they, uh, the one who they made it to the playoffs and the Sean Bates, uh, you know, going to the penalty shot versus Toronto, that's one of my memories in that ring. A gifted playmaker, Brocko helped win World Under-17 and Under-18 championships with the U.S. National Development Team, where he broke Patrick Kane's record for career assists. Up next, the 2015 NHL Draft in Florida and a call from the Maple Leafs in the second round. Obviously, my family was there with me, and it was a, it was a great experience. And, I, you know, I, looking back on that day and seeing all the pictures and stuff, you know, they say the old draft only happens once, and it's, uh, you know, it really is true when they say that. And uh, I wish I would, uh, you know, cherish it a little bit more, but, you know, it was a great experience, and I had a lot of fun. Here comes Brocko with Masker, and Brocko, great toe drag, scores! A confident, fun-loving player, Brocko raised eyebrows around the hockey world last October when he left NCAA Boston College to join one of the OHL's top teams in Kitchener. You know, when you look at the coaching staff here, you know, Mike Van Ryan, uh, Dan Kachuk, and Jay McKee, I think, you know, when you see that, I mean, you know, all NHL draft picks, all played in the NHL, all first round picks, it's, it's pretty special. And, you know, the pass up, you know, learning from guys that have played where you want to go, I think it's hard to say no. And, you know, once, you're seeing, once I saw how good they were doing, you know, I wanted to contribute to that. And, you know, hopefully we can, uh, you know, polish off the second half here, you know, with the Memorial Cup. With 52 points in his first 40 OHL games, Brocko has been a shot in the arm to the Kitchener attack. Ironically, the Rangers' biggest OHL rivals, London and Erie, feature Mitch Marner and Travis Dermott, the two players Toronto picked ahead of Brocko last June. Oh, they let me know all the time. You know, they went before me, absolutely. And, uh, you know, Trav and uh, Mitch, you know, I've known them for a while. They're cool guys. And, uh, you know, to be, to be drafted, you know, to the same team as them and experience development camp with them, it was, you know, it's pretty special. I mean, you know, when you, ha when you make friends that, you know, are drafted the same team, it's, it's an easier adjustment as you go along. And, uh, you know, to have those guys with me through the process, it's been great. At 5'10", 175 pounds, Brocko is much like Marner, a fast, skilled winger the Leafs are hoping to develop. Oh yeah, you know, they've been with me, you know, working with skating coaches or strength coaches that have come down. Uh, you know, they've really given me good positive feedback, you know, on things I need to work on and things I need to be better at. So it's kind of nice to, to, you know, for them to give you guidelines on what you need to, you know, be better at so that you can make it to the next level. Playing in one of the OHL's hockey hotbeds has opened Brocko's eyes to the passion of Kitchener fans and the wide reach of Leafs Nation. Once I got here, I kind of understood, you know, everybody said, yeah, you get 7,000 people a night at the odd, and, you know, I kind of looked at them and go, oh, okay, yeah, sure, and then, you know, my first game here playing North Bay, and I look up and I go, okay, you weren't kidding, and uh, I think everywhere I turn in the mall or going out to breakfast or lunch, you see a Leafs hat or a Leafs sweater or something, and, you know, it's, uh, you know, whenever I go to the Leafs game, you know, it's kind of nice, you know, people, you know, they recognize you, and it's kind of cool, you know, even though I'm not even on the team or not even playing in the city yet, it's kind of a cool experience, you know to be part of that fan base and to be part of, you know, what people are watching and hopefully, you know, in years to come to bring the Stanley Cup back to Toronto. For Inside the O, I'm Chris Schooley.